So we're going to look at a very cool feature, a feature to create barcodes inside your documents. As everything in the PDF Butter, you have full control over the barcodes. There are many types of barcodes that you can choose. And today we're going to create the most uh, straightforward ones. That's a QR code and a an, uh, barcode 128. So if you will see them, you will recognize them immediately. What are we going to do? We're going to put the name or the ID of our opportunity inside the barcode. Okay, let's start. So we have our data source already. I have a document prepared, which you can download from our uh, help pages. So uh, this is a picture where our barcode will sit. And this is a picture where our uh, codes 128 barcode will, uh, uh, will sit. Okay, so these pictures are the placeholders. Uh, that makes that you have a perfect idea on your document how it will be structured and how it will look. So you, there's no, uh, yeah, there's no chance that the barcode picture will uh, or the barcode created will push something out or uh, or be bigger than expected. It's uh, it can be sized to the to the picture as you see here. Okay. What's next? Create a new doc config, of course. That's what we do every time. It's of the, the main word document. Let's call it um, Academy Barcode. Okay, we're, I do not want to save it. I just want to create it. And I'm just going to call it Academy Barcode, not a, a dynamic title. When you want a dynamic title, there are other uh, movies on that. So. Let's create the barcodes. Okay, step one, always I add my document. So that's the document I just shown you. Okay, and I'm gonna call this uh, the uh, V1 version, why not? I'm gonna add my opportunity. So that's uh, the opportunity data source. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add my barcodes. For the barcode, it sits in a picture, so uh, as with the uh, the dynamic pictures, we need to uh, go to our um, layout for the picture, select this uh, icon here to see this selection screen, and then we can set the name of our picture. And this name of our picture is just a placeholder as in uh, PDF Butter, all of the other fields, and it identifies which picture should be replaced by our generated barcodes. So let's create one for the QR code. And I'm going to take the type barcode. The data source is going to be opportunity. Let's take the name of the opportunity. The merge field is QR code. And then we want a width and a height that the QR code is generated. So it's not the width and the height that will actually be inside the document, but it's the generated width and height. So let's go for 400 pixels by 400 pixels. And as type, I of course want to take the QR code. Um, we can scale it so to make sure, and I will scale it by height. So it's not really necessary here because our picture here is a square and our barcode, as you can see, uh, sorry, QR code, as you can see, is also a square one, which is quite normal for a QR code. Okay, that's one. So the second one is our one barcode 128. So I'm just going to copy this uh, merge field. Add it here, okay, it's of type barcode. The data source is opportunity. I'm gonna take the ID of the opportunity, 128. The width, I'm gonna take 300. And the height, I'm gonna take, for instance, 100. Uh, the type is gonna be barcode uh, code 128. And my ratio for formatting, well, I want the width to be actually fixed in my document. So it will be fixed in the width and the height will scale itself uh, regarding to our barcodes. So it's, you see that's a ratio of three out of one. Okay, so, well, that's it. That's all we need to do. And everybody knows what is now, what is next. We take the .config ID. We're going to go to an opportunity. Okay, go to an opportunity. And we're going to add this uh, barcode <clears throat> to our list of uh, demo items here. So edit page. Okay, it's loading my page. And now I will just add the barcode to the very end of my list. So 
save it and the barcode is added ready to test so let's take a look if everything goes fine then we should we should uh, generate a document that shows two nicely formatted barcodes click of the of the button and the document is already there as fast as ever and as you can see it looks like a two barcode so we have our qr code uh, there's always a white square around it so that's what you see here and we have our codes 128 which is uh, also generated uh, correctly so now if i start uh, editing for instance some of the uh, height and width uh, items here so the width was 300 the height 100 so maybe let's put this to 50. Um, okay so save let's take a look what it does now i'm going to generate it and you see that it's now much smaller so it's now a real barcode smaller barcodes so our uh, uh, opportunity name will be readable in this qr code and the id of uh, our opportunity will in the, be in this code so if you have a scanner please use it and you will see our barcode is perfectly usable okay thank you